Well, this video is teaching you how to make a sourdough rye, half rye, half whole wheat. Uh, this video, the first one is uh, the starter, the second one is the chef, and the third is the baking. So this would be the very beginning of the process of making your sourdough. Need some whole grain rye and a grinder. I don't think it's that difficult a thing to have a grinder in your possession. What's wrong with what's wrong with having a grinder in your house? Nothing wrong with that. Costs much less than a computer, that's for sure. It's good for you. Get a little exercise. It gives you great, great bread. Slow, of course, but slow only from what you're thinking of speed. It's it's quite fast, comparatively speaking. beginning of the sourdough rye, you've got rye flour ground. You need one half cup of water. Use your best water. Two thirds cup rye. A jar is big enough, a pint jar is big enough for the first day. Mix it well. That is it. You have started. It is not refrigerated. It's kept out. Tomorrow, I suppose any time as long as you've waited a day for the activity to happen. You, tomorrow sometime you add another of the same amount. Another half cup water, another two-thirds cup rye flour. Another day, another day. Four days of that. So it'll get bigger and bigger, mainly because you're adding more ingredients. So you'll change containers day by day. But that's it for day one. Probably put a lid on it. but it has begun. Day one, rye sourdough. Oh, here's the end product. We just cut this today. It's beautiful, beautiful bread. This is a half rye, half whole wheat. So, good luck. Day three. So this will be the third feeding of this. Oh, it's nice and bubbly. Great how this stuff just grows, grows and grows. I'm moving it to another bowl just because it's, you add two thirds cup of flour every time and a half cup of water, it gets big. We always add the water first, it's easier to Mix it that way. Half cup of water. Mix it up. Very bubbly. Do you see that? Look at the bubbles. And we're temporarily out of our rye berries, so we bought some dark rye flour, whole grain, organic, two-thirds cup. So here's one-third, two-thirds. So 
So the starter then is all rye. And then when you make your bread, you will use the one cup of starter. You put the rest back in the fridge. That's called the chef then. It's kind of confusing. I always thought everything was called the starter, but apparently you're making the starter. This is not even the starter yet, but then the chef is the starter. It's rather confusing. But one cup of this, after it's grown another day, you'll mix with two cups of rye and two cups of wheat and a pint of water and salt. And I'll show you that tomorrow. But this is ready then to wait one more day, one more day of growing without any refrigeration. Just sitting out, covered, covered so the bugs don't eat in. All right, that's it. Put it up on the cupboard. Again, that's four days in a row of one half cup water, two thirds cup flour, rye flour, four days in a row. And then comes the next section, the next video. Bye-bye.